Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's concentrate on the numerical coefficients in our binomial expansion. So when we talk about the pattern that we see in the coefficients, it's called Pascal's triangle because it forms a triangle with numbers and presume that Pascal is the one that figured this out. So what does it look like? Well, for a plus b to the first power, we simply have a plus b and the, and the coefficients in front of a and b are simply equal to 1, so you have a 1 and a 1 there. I just put a 1 at the very top just to get us started. When we get a plus b squared, we end up with a 1, a 2, and a 1. That's because we have 1a squared plus 2ab plus 1b squared. Now there's an interesting pattern. Notice we took the two ones and we moved them out here. Then we added these two together and we end up with a 2. All right, let's go for a plus b cubed. Now we already know that that will be equal to 1a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus 1b cubed. So notice the coefficients become 1, 3, 3, and 1. On the previous video, we already, we already took care of how we determined the exponents in our expansion. So again, what we do is we take the two ones, we move them out. So we have a 1 and a 1 here. Now look at these two, we get 1 plus 2, that adds up to 3. 2 plus 1, that adds up to 3. And now we have the four numerical coefficients for our next expansion. And that's how the pattern works. We then take a plus b to the fourth power. And the coefficients become, again, what we do with the ones is we move them out. We put the one there, we put the one there. Then we take 1 plus 3, that gives us a 4. 3 plus 3, that gives us a 6. 3 plus 1, that gives us a 4. And then the ones move out to there. And so that would be, those would then be the five numerical coefficients of our next expansion. Now we take a plus b to the fifth power. Again, we move the ones out like this. Then we take the 1 plus 4, that gives us 5. 4 plus 6, that gives us 10. 6 plus 4, that gives us 10. 4 plus 1, that gives us 5. And now we have the next six numerical coefficients for our next expansion for a plus b to the fifth power. Begin to see the pattern? It's actually kind of fun when you think about it. Next, we get a plus b to the sixth power. So here we get 1. We move the 1's out, so we put the 1 there, we put the 1 there. 1 plus 5 is 6. 5 plus 10 is 15. 10 plus 10 is 20. 10 plus 5 is 15. 5 plus 1 is 6. And there's the next set of numerical coefficients. All right, let's do one more. How about a plus b to the seventh power? Again, we move the ones out. And here we take 1 plus 6, that gives us a 7. 6 plus 15 gives us a 21. 15 plus 20 gives us a 35. 20 plus 15, 35. 15 plus 6, 21. 6 plus 1, 7. And there's our next set of numerical coefficients. It's so fun, I just like to keep going. Let's do the next one. How about a plus b to the 8th power? Well, again, we move the ones out. And notice that's why we call it a triangle, in a particular Pascal's triangle. So 1 plus 7 gives us 8. 7 plus 21 gives us 28. 21 plus 35, that would be 56. 35 plus 35, that's 70. 35 plus 21, that would be 56. 21 plus 7, 28. And 7 plus 1 gives us 8. Let's do one more. How about a plus b to the 9 power? Again, we move the ones out, giving ourselves a little bit more room. 1 plus 8 is 9. 8 plus 28, 36. 28 plus 56, that's 70, that's 84. 56 plus 70, that would be 126. 70 plus 56, 126. 56 plus 28, 28 84, 36, and 9. And just to round it off, let's do one last one. Got room for one more. How about a plus b to the tenth? Again, we move the ones out, give ourselves some more room. 1 plus 9 is 10. 9 plus 36, which is 45. 36 plus 84, that's 110, that's 120. 84 plus 126, that would be 210. 126 plus 126 is 252. 
126 plus 84, that would be 210. 84 plus 36, that would be 120. 36 plus 9, 45. And 9 plus 1, that is 10. And notice, it really isn't that hard to come up with any of the coefficients just by working through the triangle called Pascal's triangle. And that is how we find the numerical coefficients. Now, there are other methods in order to get these numerical coefficients, and we'll learn how to do that. But definitely Pascal's triangle, you can crank one out real quick, especially when it's one of these types, you can very quickly come up with the numerical coefficients of our binomial expansion, and that is how it's done.